Hi, Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor and the creator of the Maxim Movement. My website can be found below, and I want you to take a moment before we get started to hit that subscribe button. I try to post as many videos as I can on how you can start maximizing your health, and I don't want you to miss any. This video is talking about how estrogen dominance or estrogen toxicity can affect women's weight gain. Now, what we're gonna be talking about today is number one, how to get exposed to these synthetic estrogens to create estrogen dominance, what estrogen dominance is, how to identify it in your body, and of course, how we can treat it. So let's get started. First and foremost, estrogen dominance is defined as when the body is being exposed to too much estrogen. Now most of this estrogen is coming from our environment in the form of xenoestrogens. Xenoestrogens are man-made estrogens that are found in our plastics, so our Tupperwares, our plastic water bottles, which is why they're being BPA-free now or hopefully. Um, they're found in a lot of our personal care products, so in our shampoos, conditioners, face washes, makeup. We're also finding it in our food or on our food from our herbicides and pesticides that are being um, sprayed on our fruits and vegetables. And then we can also find it in our water because so many women are now put on the birth control pill. We metabolize it and excrete it through urine. So we're also finding it that way. Now, one of the easiest ways to spot estrogen dominance is where the fat deposition is. So we find that women that are predominantly pear-shaped or have larger fat in their hips, buttocks, and thighs tend to be more estrogen dominant than others. Excess estrogen will potentiate weight gain in women because it produces more fat accumulation, more water retention, and more bloating. The issue is, the more fat we put into our system, the more a process called aromatization occurs. This is where the body is actually metabolizing your testosterone into more estrogen, which is just fueling this cycle to continue. In my women out there that are suffering from menopausal symptoms, you tend to be some of the worst women with regards to estrogen dominance. What's the first thing we try to do as soon as we get a hot flash is we try to mask it or decrease it as soon as we can. Most women are reaching for hormone replacement therapy drugs, which are generally filled with synthetic estrogen like Premarin, and we're not getting enough progesterone to help decrease the negative side effects that can happen. Excessive estrogen can potentiate the formation of blood clots and a lot of other nasty things like estrogen-related cancers like ovarian, uterine, or breast cancer. So we certainly want to be keeping those to a minimum, and my personal favorite would be to avoid it altogether. I personally believe that the body is capable of producing whatever hormones it needs to. There's just usually a lot of things blocking it from being able to do so naturally. So let's talk about some of the ways that you can start to get your body back on track and start to maximize your hormones. One of the first things we want to do is we want to detoxify that synthetic estrogen out of our body. We do that by consuming foods that are high in indole-3-carbonyl, which can be found in a lot of the cruciferous vegetables like kale, bok choy, broccoli, things like that. And there's also another molecule called calcium deglucurate, which also helps to improve the detoxification of estrogen out of the body. We want to really improve and load up our body with a lot of good healthy bacteria and establish that good healthy microflora in our gut. The natural microflora that grows in your gut are actually phenomenal at metabolizing that excessive estrogen and getting it out of the system. We want to increase our insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber binds to the excess estrogen and helps get rid of it through our bowel movements. We want to make sure that we're taking in all of the key vitamins and minerals that we need to help our body thrive and survive. So get in your top three or my top three favorite supplements, a good quality multivitamin, a greens powder, and a fish oil every single day to make sure that your body isn't lacking in any of its nutrition. And of course, and the easiest thing to do is start to avoid a lot of the sources of this synthetic estrogen or xenoestrogens by switching your personal care products, by decreasing your foods that have herbicides and pesticides and going more organic. 
by making sure that the plastics you consume are not filled with BPA and have that uh, BPA free label on it. And of course, we always want to make sure that you're getting in lots of water, managing your stress, and getting good quality sleep. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please don't hesitate to post them below. If you have any other topics you'd like to see me answer a question of or highlight on, don't hesitate to contact me. Visit my website www.themaximmovement.com and contact me directly there. I'm pretty good at getting back to you within a 24 hour period. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as subscribe to our e-newsletter also found on my website where every single week you'll get a new video just like this and every month we have a different theme so you can follow along that way. And of course, as always, take care of yourself, maximize your health, and have a happy and healthy day.